What's up, guys? It's your boy, Nerd and Ninja. We're back again, man, in the dojo. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, Adam Calhoun is here, man. This time, we're not checking out a video. Uh, he up I saw he uploaded a video called titled George uh, Floyd. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out to see what he's uh, talking about. And yeah, I'm I'm interested to see what interested to see what he's talking about, man, on this whole situation. But before we do that, man, uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy, hit that like button. Check out my Adam Calhoun uh, playlist for um, more Adam Calhoun reactions of his music. And uh, yeah, do all that good stuff, man, and help your boy get to the goal, man. I was trying to get to the goal of 2,500 subscribers by June seventh. I think we should be able to get it get to that by now because yeah today is the 31st so it's the last day um so we still got like uh you know another seven seven and a half days so hey actually it's less than seven and a half <laughs> but hey you guys get the point man at the time it is recording but hey let's see what adam is saying about this whole situation man let's get it Everybody's been asking me to make a video about this and this is not going to be easy because I'm not going to say what you want to hear. I'm going to say what I think. George Floyd was that's, murdered I mean, in the streets good, in broad daylight by a police officer. And I'm not just going to say by one, by every police officer involved who didn't do anything to stop it. They are accessories Facts. to this murder. This man's pleading with his life, saying he can't breathe. This officer's knee and all his weight is on this man's neck. And what you don't see in the video, behind that vehicle, there's three other police officers on top of this man. So he is completely not a threat. Then you got this asshole right here. What are you doing? <laughs> not doing anything, just... Nothing to see here. So here's the deal. What do I see? I see a man kneeling on another man, suffocating him, killing him in the middle of the street. Now here's where I come into my thinking. So COVID-19 is over, right? America just decided, all right, fuck this shit. This is over with. So now the- Bro, you know, that is actually crazy, bro. Because this whole, uh, this whole George Floyd situation is going to- become way more of a focus than uh the coronavirus in america probably the whole world bro it's crazy people are gonna forget about coronavirus and are only gonna be fo this is gonna be the news the new this is the new big news now now that this whole issue is happening and people are protesting everywhere coronavirus it took a step back crazy bro that is insane how quick the news could change and how what what's in the the forefront of the the news uh reportings is crazy. Well, COVID nineteen is over, right? America just decided, all right, fuck this shit. This is over with. So now the media goes right back to not a man killing another man. This is a white man getting away with murder, killing a black man, and Bad. not just a white man. A white police officer is killing a black man who did nothing wrong. That's what the media is showing you. At the end of the day, unless he is raping little kids, no man deserves to die in the middle of the street like a dog. And it doesn't matter about the color, Facts. but the media, that's all they're gonna push is the color. You can't just be taking Facts. people's lives who did it doesn't nothing matter wrong. The, it, it really doesn't matter the color. You shouldn't be doing that, man. But what is happening is it's only black people that are getting killed from from uh, these are during these arrests, which is insane, because you know we've seen we've seen instances of people doing insane crime and getting arrested, and the cops they don't treat them like that, man. Like dudes be out here shooting up schools and everything, and when they get arrested, they arrest them like they're the softest cotton, bro. It's crazy, but. The push is the color. You can't just be taking people's lives who did nothing wrong to deserve it. Now, I'm from Chicago. Chicago motherfuckers are shooting at cops, and these cops are shooting back and killing them. And those cops that are protecting themselves are getting crucified for it. And I think that's bullshit. I am not in any way 
justifying what this cop did. This motherfucker should go to prison for the rest of his life, and the people that were around that car on top of this man's body Accessory. should go to prison for the rest Guys. of his life. You were all involved and sat there while this man died and did nothing to help him. I do not hate That's police facts. officers. I understand that there are some shitty ones. We have shitty people all around us all day long, and that does not exempt cops. You murdered that man, and let's just say it, you white man murdered a black man. That's what the media wants you to say, right? It's, it's, let's just keep fucking dividing the country and making it everything on race. Did you also know that there were like two Asian people involved or does that not matter? The only thing that matters is <laughs> that, bro, I, I was just thinking that, like the cop that he was showing earlier, just standing there, dude is Asian. <laughs> like what? Is, a white man killed a black man. What about every day in the summer in Chicago, black people killing black people? What about white officers killing white people? Where the fuck is the news media on that shit? I wish it wasn't about race. I hate that it's about race. At the end of the day, all those officers involved deserve to go to prison. And that man with your knee on his neck while he's pleading for his life, you deserve to go to prison. And then after prison, you deserve to go to hell. That's, that's facts, man. That, that is crazy. Like, how could you, what? I don't understand people's thought process, man. Like, what do you expect to happen from freaking kneeling in somebody's neck, bro? I'm not a I'm not a freaking doctor, but I have enough knowledge in freaking in in anatomy and medicine and all that to know that kneeling in somebody's neck could not amount to anything good, bro. Like, come on, everybody with common sense knows that. So how could a there's no way this is not on purpose, or there's no way he didn't know what he was doing. Like, that, that's crazy, bro. And if I was a cop and I was there in that situation, you best believe I would have pushed them off of it. I would have pushed them off of the dude, man. No cap. No lie, man. I would have. I, as a cop, and I was there. I would have made. I would have made sure that didn't happen. That's insane, man. So those other cops definitely should get in trouble too for accessory because they didn't do anything especially that dude just standing there if i if that was me i would have i would have tell him to get off the dude like get off the dude's neck what the hell is he doing bro like what that's insane man but there are certain things that like i don't agree with when it comes to uh freaking you know the whole burning down certain shit like destroying certain things like i saw in minnesota like they destroyed schools and stuff like that like bro, that's not cool bro like a school for kids you're trying to fight for your your uh your rights and your stuff like that but you're destroying schools like that doesn't make any sense bro like your kids need your kids need that <laughs> like that's crazy but hey it is what it is man like let's see what happens will all of this writing and whatever that they're doing will will that change will that change how us as black people are does that change how we're treated in america i don't know man we'll just have to see but you know there's there's stereotypes man i just try not to fit myself in that type of stereotype man like i <laughs> I, I i'm different <laughs> let's just say that i remember when i used to skate back in the day like people used to call me a white like in the hood like all the black people used to call me a white boy and all that stuff man but you know that didn't stop me and yeah it is what it is man like but 
you know, people people are always gonna look at you and uh, assume. <laughs> but yeah, you can assume all you want, man. Just, that's why you don't judge a book by its cover, man. Like I could I could be out right now in the streets that people would think I'm a thug just because I'm black. That's just how how it goes in America. But when you don't know that, <laughs> you're not gonna know that I'm in technology. I have a pretty dope job. Um, I have a master's degree. Like you wouldn't know that, <laughs> and that's that's kind of what we're faced with uh, being being judged. Which is kind of what I, that's the most, mo, that's what I most hate about America, but hey, it is what it is, man. They see the tattoo, they probably don't know what, what it is, but yeah, man. They probably think it, I'm like in a gang or something because I got a, a whole sleeve, but they don't know it's, it's zeros and ones, man. Zeros and ones, that's binary. If you know technology, you know, then you have the circuit board right here then there's a heart that's connected to all of it and that's just how it is man the whole thing is that's that's what it is the whole thing so yeah man <laughs> but people are gonna see that and judge me and probably think i'm a thug and all that that's just what that's what we're faced with in america man and it's super sad and <laughs> coming me as a, a person that's not even born in America, I was born and raised in Jamaica. So, and Jamaica, our motto is out of many one people, man. So growing up, I didn't look at race. We have all types of people in Jamaica, bro. We have, we have whites, we have Asians, bro. There's a lot of Chinese Jamaicans. Like, you can, it's crazy, man. Jamaica is awesome. We love everybody. Uh, we don't re like I didn't know what racism was until I came to America man so that's the crazy thing like I don't I, I'm friends with all types of people man so I don't look at color where at the end of the day man we're all the same color on the inside we're just different skin tones and different skin colors because of where we are where we live and we had to adapt to our environment that's how it goes man that's just how it is and that doesn't make that doesn't make someone else better than you because of the color of your skin, man. So it, I mess with everybody, man. That's just how it is. We're all we're all one, and all this going this versus this and this versus this doesn't make doesn't do any good for our society, man. We all need to come together, come together. The, like when I try to talk too fast. The, the the Jamaican accent comes out, man. So, <laughs> hey, but yeah, man. I don't want to make this video end too long, but yeah, man. Shout out to Adam for uh, for for that, man. That, that's real. That's real, man. See, the, and that's why I don't just judge every white person. <laughs> like, like I'm a mess with you until you prove me otherwise and that's how i see it with everyone not just white people i have a lot of spanish friends as well and a lot of hispanic friends of course i miss i i love the hispanic culture <laughs> like for, and yeah man but yes thank you for uh, checking out the video if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button man hit that like button let me know what you guys think in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace